Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Clam and I'm going to walk you through today how to update your digital portfolio from year to year. A little note, this video is for students who already created a portfolio in the past and you're wanting to update it for the current year. If you haven't made a portfolio yet, go check out the first video. That is right here. Okay, so I'm inside, inside of the North Valley Academy Digital Student Portfolio. That's inside of Buzz. Let's get started. First of all, go to your digital portfolio. You can find it two ways. Number one, you can go to your Google Sites app. So if we go into our drive, go to the apps, go to Sites, and we're looking for the new Google Sites. And inside of there, you should have your digital portfolio from before. The second way you can go find it is if you go back into Buzz, go find the links, links to digital portfolios, and there are classes here, and you should have your name and a link. If you don't have your name on there yet, like let's say you're 2024, you can put your name in there and make a link. Uh, I've got mine in here. I can go over and click on it, open up the link, and voila, there's mine. All right, you're going to run out of pages you can add, so you'll need to create new pages for each year and then drag and drop your classes into the correct year. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to edit. I want to go to pages, and from last year, I've got my home, about me, resume, and then I've got my advisory and my art. I didn't put in all my classes. They were just a, a practice for last year. I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to call it 2017, uh, 2018. That was last year for me right now. And there is my page. Now I'm going to take and drag and drop these classes inside. And then I still want to make sure thing everything's in the same order. So make sure your classes stay in the right order um, and you may want to drag and drop them into the right place. So I can see in here, I'm going to drag this down. My advisory and my art stayed in the right place. Good to go. I'm going to update the name of my advisory to make it clear which year I'm entering items for. So I will go into advisory and I can double click on it. And I made sure it says um, ninth grade advisory. Last year, I didn't have ninth grade. It just said advisory. Uh, for this year, I'm going to put in a new folder just for this year. Oh, wait, I want 2019. Yeah, 2019. That does not belong in there, so I'll drag that out. And inside there, I'm going to create an advisory that this year says 10th grade advisory. And that'll go inside this year's. All right, inside of your classes, you're going to need to make sure that you have uh, a description and you're going to make sure you have three evidence items for each class. Your description should be fun and interesting as well as detailed. So let's say for this year, uh, I have a class, it's called TART, um, but officially it's humanities. So I'm going to say humanities and done. Inside my humanities class, I'm going to give it a description. So I'm going to double click, do text, and then do course description. Once again, make sure this is fun, interesting, and detailed. So I already typed one up. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it in there. Bam. Now that I have my course description, the next thing I want is going to be one of my evidence items. I can go to Buzz and go find the list of items required for the digital portfolios. I go into that and I can find, let's say, Mrs. Clam's page and I'm looking for Tart. There we go. My first thing, my evidence item number one is my digital art portfolio. So I come back into here. I'm going to put in my divider. Then my text box. And 
and that's my digital art portfolio. I can actually link this right in by going to my drive and I can search for my portfolio. It's right there and I put that in. Yay! And then when I do the preview, it'll look beautiful. It'll be big and gorgeous and fun. I can also make it bigger on here. So now I've gone through and I have put in my item required for my digital art portfolio and I'll go through and I'll put the other two in as well. Next, you may want to update your resume and your about me pages. Those pages are doo -doo 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 -doo. right up here. You got your about me and your resume. Your about me needs to be interesting and fun. Uh, you might have to update it a little bit. It may say something like, I'm a freshman this year, but actually you're a sophomore now. So go ahead and update that. As far as your resume, if you're not quite sure how to write a resume, there are a million videos, uh, articles, everything out there to help you with how to write a resume. There are even some videos inside of Buzz. Here's one, for example, this one is how to write a resume for freshers. I think what she means is freshmen. Uh, but you got your, your how to write a resume video in there. And uh, you can actually use a template. So let's say if we go into um, Google Drive, I'm going to create a new document. I do new and, oh, wait, sorry, go away. Google Docs. And I hover over this and I can go from a template. Then when the templates come up, you've got education, you've got letters, and there's a whole thing just on resumes. And you can click on whichever one you want. You go into that and it will give you this whole template that you can just walk right through and it'll show you um, exactly what you need to have in there. But anyways, you need to make sure you update your resume. Lastly, make sure that your digital portfolio is something you're proud of. Remember, a lot of people are going to be looking at this. Not to mention, this is something that you want to look back on and be proud of, so do your best. Good luck, you guys. I hope that answers your questions. If you need help, remember to ask. You can also rewatch the video, uh, the first one on how to create your portfolio. Uh, good luck. I hope this turns out to be something you're really excited about.